Thank you for inviting us and your, your concern for the revolutionary Sudanese youth in its fight against dictators for giving me the opportunity to present the Gurifna movement to the world and the reality of suffering in Sudan. Gurifna movement was established in a complex reality which resulted directly from decades of dictatorship since the independence and which was exploited by sectarian factions to the, their own interests and the interests of the elites until the Islamists arrived to power in military coup in June 1989, exacerbating the economic and humanitarian situation in the country. Since that year, the Sudanese arena witnessed fierce battles between the ruling party and all opposition parties in their traditional and modern forms, accompanied by group mobilization and social activism to s support the different political vision based on documents and agreement throughout this period, 27 years. However, th there has been no positive change achieving human dignity and social justice in Sudan and no answer to people's quest for the better alternative, not only the alternative to power, but the alternative to that presents a comprehensive change. The most revolutionary form of popular resistance was the students' activism, which the regime tried to hinder through the destruction of educational institutions. The emergence of Gurifna uh, was an extension of this popular resistance resistance that has not stopped since 1989 and aimed at organizing the street with new and creative means that are different from those used by the opposition political elites which have failed to achieve any positive change. The movement used social media to raise awareness among citizens and media coverage for the activists, activities of the resistance and conveyed the daily issues reflected by communication and graffiti. Also, it also adopted cynicism as and humor as an essential tool to break the barrier of fear. The choice of the game, the name Gurifna reflected an expression of discontent and loss of hope in the traditional authorities. The movement was launched in, in 2009. Its objective was to overthrow the government of the National Congress through elections. It did not support any candidate in particular, but tried to convince the opposition forces to provide a single candidate. However, due to unconstitutional violations in the electoral process, the majority of opposition forces withdrew and the National Congress won through voter fraud. Gurfna movement continued its pacific efforts, uh, pacifist efforts in order to overthrow the National Congress, facing all forms of repression from arbitrary arrest and torture to and ra from torture and rape as part of the hunt for its members inside Sudan. Through waves of protests in Sudan January 2011, June 2012, and September 2013, and more recently during the 2015 elections, which were also won by the National Congress, largely boycotted by the Sudanese people while endorsed by regional players, most notably the African Union. The silence of some along with the support to the Sudanese system by countries in the region as well as the international community show complicity in the crimes committed against the Sudanese people. This should be rectified by holding accountable all those involved in these crimes. We still firmly believe in the existence of people who share our values of humanity, social justice, and freedom. This is what motivates us to work with groups that share our ideas around the world because resistance deserves to be globalized. Long live the struggles of the Sudanese people. Let the struggle of the Sudanese people continue. Thank you.